Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. What did you say? I, I download from the YouTube and I cut those pieces that is very necessary. Okay, for okay, me. it's fine. And I Perfect. Watch it again. Then. Yeah. So let's begin, and then uh, uh, one important thing: we'll have less break time today. Good. Last class exciting, right? You should be not spending time with not important thing. <laughs> okay, I should have mentioned in this Slack channel that you should have a proper breakfast. Okay, so let's imagine that we should. Another question. Yeah, uh, yeah. We would like to build something. What do you think that is interesting to build today? We in our last um, uh, all the classes we try to build contact yes. contact book, right? Yeah. Address or phone number, right? Yeah. Wish we could take an API from the special website and teach us how we can get that API and use it in a in our app. Let's do it. Also, yeah. Have, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to say I have a uh, small project, really cool project. If mm -hmm. you want to, uh, I will explain to you now. Um, we do have um, like a book, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, for every 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 person has to read a chapter. Mm. When the day is done, when the day is done, mm. um, whoever read the, the chapter the, the day after has to read the, the, the chapter that come after. Okay. So every time we add a new a new person to read with us, <coughs> we, we separate it automatically the chapter for every each person in this class. I think okay. yeah, that's a very fantastic project, but it will be take, take it will take time. Uh, in four hours, with the with the pace of everyone to uh, you know uh, teaching the uh, theory, it's not it will not be possible. Let's imagine like contact book, uh, contact book a small thing. So I could have also used the contact book as an example, but I don't want to use it because you already into it, and then probably you will be thinking that okay, there was something that I didn't understand the uh, how uh, we can search, how we can filter this kind of thing. I don't want to address it because this is the kind that. It's not Node, it's like in programming language, anything. You can learn it from JavaScript and then ES6, or modern language, right? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, uh, probably if I can make a similar project, like let's say uh, we'll build something uh, for Hacky Future, uh, student book, similar. So basically in a website, you will be able to uh, display all the students mm -hmm. uh, with their name mm -hmm. and, and the class belongs to. For instance, you a class at 07 and then some students at class uh, 06, 4 or 9, something like that, right? Okay. So we'll build it. We don't need to fill all of the student name and class number. We'll just uh, uh, display uh, 10, 10 or 12 and then uh, in, if you click on one student, probably we'll be able to see more details like um, where you live or something like that or how many courses you have finished uh, is it by Node.js you've done uh, JavaScript, HTML, CSS like your progress if it can be possible, right? Is it sound okay? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So what, what the, and then we will be starting from zero from zero to, you know, like building the app. So, and you, I also need your help. I'm not super expert so I always need your help, okay? Keep in mind that. So here, um, uh, basically what do you need? Terminal, right? And then uh, probably uh, if you're using Windows machine, it will be a bit different than uh, my mine and you might find some struggle. So we'll not be able to fix the, you know, if NPM issue, Node.js issue is there. So we'll do it in the end class if you have special problem or you, you know, do it offline. So, what do we need first to do a project? Create the folder. Project. Yes, let's do it. Um, MK, is it? Uh, can I? Should I uh, make it bigger? Like? No. Uh, control plus. With Control plus, you can make it. Bigger. Yes, like here. Does it? Uh, can you read from there, uh, Kuan? Is it readable, or I should make it a bit bigger? Sorry? Okay. So let's call it a project. Like, uh, what is you call it? MK. MK. Yeah. So we are also touching the Unix yeah. command as well, right? We will be trying everything uh, uh, we learned so far, right? Uh, what should we call it? Give me the name so I can move faster. Student book? Book. book, okay, good. That's simple, right? And then uh, CD 
right? And and here. So so what do we need first to have a node uh, node project? NPM install. NPM init. Okay, great. So one thing I want to uh, make it clear, like what is node? What can node do for us? What can node do for us? Node is server side, yes. So basically, it's a Java. It runs JavaScript program and then runs from server side, right? So in server side, nowadays the most popular way to have a node app is like it only serves the API, REST API, but it also can serve the whole you know website, like. Uh, you can write uh, HTML, CSS, and a full-blown application. You can also uh, run by Node, right? So here we want to make it separate. Like we will be only uh, using Node for uh, serving REST APIs, right? What is REST API? Uh, request. Uh, it's for uh, reading, uh, updating. I, I think yeah, exactly. So REST API, it should have, uh, you know, common some terminology. It's a uh, well accepted uh, idea how to define APIs. So you can decide how to write your APIs, whatever you make it. Like you can call it a GET API, but you can um, internally you can update uh, database. It's up to you. But this is standard. You should maintain, right? So that is called uh, REST API. So REST in there are some uh, verbs, right? What are the verbs? REST bar. In API, there's two common term, uh, two major terms. One is verb and this noun, <laughs> like a grammar, right? So nouns is like an a, a, a API name, right? So if uh, we want to, uh, you know, get some uh, Facebook, let's say Facebook has API, right? We want to get my f a Facebook friend uh, friend uh, friend list, name of the friends, right? So Facebook has a uh, has o uh, o API we can read it from, and then we get the you know raw data instead of the website, right? So this API, uh, uh, if we call it the name, it's a noun. So it should call uh, user. So user is a noun, right? And then uh, list of list uh, user list is a noun, but then another keyword is a verb. Verb is like an action. So get. with calling the noun, you are doing something. Get. So what you can do, you can do get, put, post, uh, post yeah. delete. So this is an action, right? It's very common to the you know our uh, mindset. This uh, we uh, we do in uh, English or uh, whatever, right? Yeah. So also programming language also adopting the you know uh, natural pattern, not like hypothesis, right? It's always you confusing the verbs. People say verbs, right? What is verbs? Is something different? I, I, I you know in the beginning I was googling it. What is verbs? And I said it's a similar word. It's not a different word, different spelling, similar thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So we need some resource as noun, and then we need some action and then verbs, and then this uh, standard maintained by REST API. So there are some books uh, or manifesto people decided to do in a unique way, and this is the approach. Okay. So uh, in post means we can uh, able to post store data, right? So we will not be able, to, we should not delete information. For delete, we call uh, delete a verb, right? This way. And just to look at uh, the, some examples. So here, I you know you can search Node.js tutorial, so you can find this t uh, you know a lot of information uh, websites that help you to learn these things, right? So if I click on REST full API, so these are the methods, right? <clears throat> and you can see all the examples you need, right? So probably we'll do some copy paste instead of typing. Or, you know, I'm not so fast at typing as well. So, or you can help me, okay? Yeah. Okay. So now we need something, and then for no, uh, node, uh, this one will be just building APIs, and for showing the website, we'll be uh, using our knowledge from JavaScript and uh, CSS. Uh, HTML CSS module, okay, whatever we had before. So we'll try to copy paste some bootstrap template and using them. So, <clears throat> to do this one, we need um, JavaScript file. We need some JavaScript file and, uh, and some. Uh, yes, yes. And in the previous classes, we try to use uh, some uh, npm package, we, which we can do this and it can create some folder and a structure, all this Roll kind up. of thing. So, I don't want to use them because there are a lot of things are hidden that you don't know how this is functioning. So I want to show also how this is functioning, 
Okay. So let's do it from the beginning. You said a node uh, npm, right? npm init, yes. right? npm. I think you all have installed npm and then the node as well, right? Yes. Yeah. So what should we do now? Enter. Hit, hit enter, right? Yeah. So and then here you can give a name to this. And then I can give name. Yeah. And then and then I can just say yes to everything, right? Yes. Right. And so now it's made the folder inside of that. Exactly. Let's see it. Uh, node module. So like it, is. it just uh, let me also increase the this uh, size. Is it okay, Kwan, as well? You're sitting so far, <laughs> but it's see, good. You, you can, see. you can, if you can see it, then it's perfect. So okay. Uh, just someone say uh, uh, you know ex uh, explain uh, what I did. I just npm in it, and then I just got only one pr uh, you know um, file which is created for me. And why is that? Yeah, but, but uh, there was any reason to, to initialize an npm. Uh, usually, when you initialize an npm, it's because uh, whatever you wanna make, you wanna um, share it on, on the npm uh, API. <coughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, did I talk to you the command line uh, class as well? Uh, is it your class or something else? So basically here what I did, uh, I did this one, this uh, npm init, right? Mm -hmm. so let me clear this screen as well. This one, right? What it does, it's a command line prompt to it do something for us. Like it can create file folder, start all this kind of thing. So if I do this and then it takes some input for me and then did this activity, right? Mm -hmm. And this is just create the file. Now question is why this file we should uh, always do like we tried always when we need to make, need to make a new folder and we need and do this thing. Should we always all time do this or why is needed? We need it to because then we are going to use the npm's uh, package, you know. Okay, it's always optional. So either you can do this npm init, so it just give me this thing. Or you can copy paste from internet or anywhere, create a file package to JSON and then copy paste this one. It does the same thing. So this one command line prompt is optional. You don't need to do all time. Yes. So when you are doing uh, the project from zero ground, then you are you need this and package of JSON, right? Otherwise, you always get it from someone. Someone. So then this process is also optional. That you don't need to uh, do create all of them. You just kept copy paste. And then what you do in it do is it is important that npm install or i so it is it will be installing all the packages right you know the packages the dependencies so it will install this one right so we will be doing this one for the first time ever never we will be doing it right npm in it so it is always creating an initiate pro project right and then you always can change this information it's it's up to you, right? For instance, here I can uh, uh, now I can create a file called uh, app.js, right? And then I can uh, change the name here app.js. Okay. Yes. So now we have created this um, package, right? So package we can always get it from the from someone else, or we can create it by ourselves. Any question there? In the package of JSON. And this is the key for npm project because this is the one that uh, uh, all our dependency it, it handled, and then this is the in unified way uh, you you need it to broad, uh, to uh, to make an npm uh, repository to publish, and then other people can use it. This is the unified standard format you need to follow. Yeah, but if you don't want to uh, uh, have a dependency on everything, you don't have to do it. You know? Uh, if you need any, any, any if you don't have anybody. yes, then you have to do it anyway also because if you want to publish in npm repository, do you know the npm repository, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you want to publish it, that npm repository also shows some information. Who is the author? So author takes from uh, here, like it's father's, uh, you know, app application, and then the version it also takes from here. So it's needed. But if you don't want to publish on the in yeah, the, no, 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 the publish, publish do nothing, do no dependency, it's optional. If you don't use any npm dependencies, yeah. Okay. Yes. And then what do we need for then? So, so our intention is to uh, you know 
uh, create uh, the uh, API first, right? API, and then let's define the you know structure. What the, the API should have for a student, a student book? It should have get, right? Yeah. We should get uh, you know the, all the stu students, yes. right? So uh, what should we call it? Uh, students or uh, get uh, students, right? Yes. Okay, and then uh, we also need to uh, store the stu students or delete. Uh, we should exp experiment all of them, or just uh, you know, get is okay for for this exercise. Just get, get, or probably get with the parameter, right? Mm -hmm. What is parameter? Like if you want to get a specific user, one user, so you need to pass some value. Yes. Oh yeah, the, the, param the parameter that uh, come on the yeah on the, ID, on the name, the whatever you call it, like the, some, something, right? So that's two different get method. We at least we need, right? Yeah. Okay. So before we provide this, uh, uh, start getting uh, doing thing, we need to do something, right? Uh, uh, at least we should make it, it as a server, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. First, use the node. Uh, uh, see, if node is working for us, right? So console dot. It's optional. You don't type. I will remove it. This one. <coughs> like um, hello, node. Right. So, how to test is this node? Node is working on this one. Uh, Go to terminal. Uh, right. Node. Uh, node. Ap. Sorry, it's showing there, right? But it's showing where in terminal. I want to show this message in a browser. Yeah. So you have to it. It it can be browser or it can be a client. Some tool who, who can uh, uh, read, uh, ex ex uh, um, help us to uh, execute them. Yeah. Like tool like called Postman. Yeah. Postman also is a tool, right? You know that. Uh, Postman, or is it? Yeah. This is a tool, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. So, then what do we need first here? So let's remove it, right? So uh, for we we decided to use uh, Express um, uh, project, right? So for so doing uh, uh, making an Express app, we need to install Express, yeah. right? And this is necessary. So how can you install this one? N P M I Express. What it will do? Uh, you can tell you the packages of from NPM. Uh, yes. Okay. So let's. If I do it, then what will what it will actually do in in, in real in the background? G give you the dependency from Express. Yes, it will actually update my package to JSON file. Yeah. Here it will yeah, add, up the modify the file and then also download this Express from NPM NPM repository. Yeah. It's important, right? So you know the connection, right? So I do it. Another small example, if you in, the, in the other project you have done npm i express global. Okay. Now we don't, if we use the, 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 the project as well, we don't need to install it again or we have to install it anyway? Well, global is like, for instance, uh, your machine will uh, Installing this project globally, you can use like this, and like here, you are using node command from using npm. So these are these installed in go globally, but this express we need to use it locally to this project only. Yeah, but if I said uh, the last one we have installed, yeah, but we have installed only locally for that project. Yes. If we have done, I mean, before globally installed no. globally, we cannot do that. No. No, you cannot use it. You need to also mention that as a dependency there because if you install it globally, so what it did for us, it created, it created now node modules, right? So if you install globally, then it will never, uh, uh, you know, uh, create a folder here and then uh, move it here. So you also need to do, do it in locally as well. If you are dependent on Express. But Express, if have if all, it also have a command line interface that in command line you can customize. Let's say Express can say, okay, I am we, we are now super scaled. Uh, you can define our Expresses with a light version, heavy version, all this kind of thing. It has a command line, so you need to install it globally and then you know follow the steps. Uh, 
so we'll be using some go global uh, uh, dependence as well uh, you know uh, later on i have thought to use something okay let's stick to it simple one so and then uh, what do we need for then no we'll not use scaffold i said we'll be using from zero and then we'll okay. do our manually everything so we have to make make variable and give it it. Uh, yes so uh, what i need uh, here um, uh, const, const app Okay. Or you can say express express equal require. Why is require? Why is not uh, import? Because uh, the, uh, it not, we are doing in, uh, in the old JavaScript and it not e at six. Yes. So import it not uh, it not uh, it undefined. Yes, exactly. So uh, then, uh, if we want to do it, what do we need to do it? We do. We use the special package module from npm. And, and what is the packages? Roll up uh, scaffolder. No. We have used scaffolder. Yes, it's it's a name you can create. But the process, what the process is called? It's called transpiler. Oh yeah. So, one language. Can I say your question again? Because I didn't understand. I said, uh, uh, if you want to use here instead of require, we can yeah. use in different way the modern way, uh, import. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to do this uh, writing, import syntax, it will not run here. So what yeah. we need to do to make it running, running that? Oh, because in the, uh, the new yeah, version yeah. of Node, you cannot oh, use import. Uh, write something like this one. Yeah. Is it required to cancel? Then there is short error here. This means that it has to take my script. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's it's exactly. <laughs> yes. So to to uh, solve this problem, so we need a transpiler process. So transpiler is like you, it's reading our uh, advanced level uh, 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 way of writing it, code, and then it transpile transform to a low level, which is like commonly available, right? It does, and then uh, for doing this tool, it's like Babel. There's Babel is a tool. There are some other tools, right? And then I think uh, last you use roll up something. So these are the many tools it has. And the script folder is like an idea that uh, somebody integrated all these uh, components for you and giving you this, and then you don't have to do it manually, all this thing. So now we're doing it manually because you want so need to learn how this is working, the big machines running, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, uh, if you want to do it configure by yourself, then you'll be always lost. How can I make it happen, right? Okay, so, and then um, we call it uh, again uh, constant. Can anyone tell me why I'm not using let? Because we don't have to change it. We will not get change. So if I use uh, let, if I don't change it, then what's the problem? But const uh, is more stable. So uh, it, 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 like constant that we, we have to set it up on all our 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 uh, application and will be stay the same. Let it will, it will yeah. just uh, we can use it. Yeah, uh, we can use we it. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I do it sometimes. It's not on, on, on you. No, I'll take this that way, okay? Uh, it's basically, we can use that. Like, it's no harm in that. Yeah. But there's a risk. Mm -hmm. What risk? In accidentally in future, uh, uh, your project will grow with the thousands of files, thousands of millions of lines, something like that. And there somewhere you will just declare the same variable and then change it something. Mm -hmm. It's broken. You need to fix it all the time, right? So if it const, then your program will not execute. The node will say immediately whenever you made the changes, right? So that's a safe safety security, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but don't uh, you know <laughs> read that, okay? <laughs> Maybe sometimes I do for that uh, specific reason, but not always. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Now it's configured, right? And then uh, what we need. Uh, for um, uh, doing like let's not remember everything right so, um, I could write also but I'm also always try to go in different ways so you know how to find this information whenever you are uh, in need okay um, getting started see the guides See here, it's showing, right? 
how to install uh, this one and then we, we also need a port number to listen to it we, we need to start the server right so to starting the server I guess the code is um, app dot listen something right We, 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 then we set up all the actions that the app has to do. Mm. We don't need to do to, to require an HTTP call on node and then do create no. server and then no, it's this that Express will do this magic for us, right? Yeah. Uh, I think the format is like a So uh, forget about this. Uh, if you need it, we don't. Oh, keep it. Okay. Right. It should be in the. That is the port eighty eighty one. Yes, we can change it to anything. Nine thousand. Let's change it. Okay. Yeah. So, I just copy paste. Do you? Can you explain? Uh, well, what is this? Uh, what it does for us? What uh, uh, what is this first parameter and what and what is this? I'm trying to explain it. Um, now we are asking the application to listen uh, on on that port uh, nine uh, nine thousand. Mm -hmm. If it's free, if it's free, uh, it will execute that function on that port. Mm -hmm. So whatever we're gonna write there, we will see it. Um, other, other and this is the callback function. Huh? And this is a callback function. Yeah. This is just it. Just uh, uh, start the server and listen to it, and then listening to this port, you can define the port yourself. And then uh, this is a callback function, right? It just uh, give us a feedback what is going on. Okay. Should be. Uh, should add even uh, if uh, if uh, um, um, the status is uh, is uh, two hundred. Otherwise, it's an error because we don't we don't really know. We're just guessing that nine thousand is a, is a free port on, on the Wi-Fi. Device. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's not uh, do this error scenario uh, uh, on this port thing. Uh, we'll fix it, but we do this error scenario in different. Uh, there'll be a lot of uh, place. Uh, we'll, uh, a lot of thing we'll write. Probably we'll do it there. Okay, <laughs> and also let's write an uh, uh, you know uh, very uh, short get thing, uh, the root one, right? So for root one, like is a app. What? Get, right? No. This is a verb, right? No. And then uh, always start writing your syntax like this one, short format, right? It's not confusing. If you just copy paste this way, you say, okay, uh, this is a function and this is a parameter and this another parameter or this is a, something different. You always get confused, right? So start with this finishing line and then start putting this thing. So this will take how many th stuff? Uh, two. two parameters, right? So one is the root, the, the yeah, path. and then path, and then the rest and is the callback. callback. Oh. And the callback is a function, function. and then function, uh, parameter. two parameters, exactly. See, and now I'm just, uh, you know, uh, aggregating or populating this uh, function, so it's easier to read. If I just copy paste this line from somewhere, you will confuse what did I, uh, how this syntax is, what is the syntax, right? So and then uh, the request from the from the uh, server and the R response from R E Q the and then R E S. Can anybody say me uh, explain me why R E Q and R E S can it be different thing? You know, all, request fixed? to the server and it will respond. Yeah, to and my course. question is this value is a variable, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know it, and this name should look like uh, this static. I mean, it should be R E Q R E S, or it can be different. It can name. be different. It can be different. All agree? Yeah. Yes, it can be different. Actually, the, it's like, it's it is like important. Yeah, it is important that the first thing, first parameter is the request, and the next is the right? response. You can name it A B C D X Y Z. You like it, right? So, uh, so we get the request and the response, and that, uh, what do we do? Send, right? Yeah. And then uh, let's say we say. Uh, Okay. 
okay and always try to do the code formatting i don't like if you are not uh, maintaining you know the alignment thing but but this send it, it can be whatever what this uh, uh, text y yes yes anything okay that's the beauty it's just text the common so how to write this thing uh, i mean uh, run this thing no now we wrote the server NPM and should start. be what npm NPM start. start start yes Okay, npm start. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, npm start was on on the on the scaffolder package that we have downloaded. It's not npm start. So. Oh, I had this problem before. Do you know why you had this problem? We, we look at know, it, but we, we didn't show it. You package, search about it. Yeah. In the package, you should define the start. So, because in the pack, if you define uh, in the uh, package JSON for uh, a start, uh, for example, something, it's run. But now we don't define it. Yeah, nice answer. So basically, um, you did something, you're totally not uh, aware of what is happening, right? Yeah. So let's fix it today together. Before fixing npm start, it's always we we do this way, right? Yes. And then what is it? Note app dot js. Yeah. Uh, what it is? Service not declared. Host. Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I you know I use something copy paste code, right? Yeah. And this is not needed. We don't need, we don't need it. And then uh, we say you are listening at uh, three thousand. These are optional, so we remove it because, yeah. So see, node is giving error, right? Something is like server is undefined, right? Copy paste code, something something doesn't work, so it's a nice error messages, right? See, now it's example app listening at. So, uh, yeah, oh, to you know, get better at it. So, oh, why heck you HYF uh, book, right? It's nice, right? Instead of this example thing. How can I con uh, stop this thing? Server? Control C. Control C, very good. So we run, run again, right? It's hack your future. Can you see it from there? Yeah. So, and then uh, how can I test it? It's working? Um, you can try to on Postman. Yes, and also in browser. Yeah. On browser. Yeah. So let's let's see the Postman and, and uh, have a look at both of them, right? Local host. Uh, uh, nine thousand, right? Uh, hey, you are listening to me at port nine thousand, right? And this is the message. Uh, if I hit the uh, top uh, route, like just to this, right, the home or main door, right, main of uh, door of the uh, this API. If I reach there, it says this message, right? And then I can also verify this with the browser, right? And then uh, localhost. You can say it nine thousand. It's doing it, yeah. right? But now I have it. Can you go to the code? Code. Yeah. Now I have a question. You know the, the app dot get. Mm -hmm. We have request and response. Yes. Mm -hmm. we, you actually you uh, you send the request. Uh, no, no. You get the response. But what was your request? Here? Request is this. I'm requesting this API. And if you're curious, let's let's do this way. Console. Because you are not defined at anything here. No, no. Request is automatically. You are hit, You are ah. uh, hitting the browser. Yes. And then uh, this uh, app dot get method. It's it's calling. It's taking your input. Okay. Somebody is requesting this thing. Okay. So this okay. request object, it's bundle it and then also send it to the callbacks. For some reason, you need to use it. So okay. let's see what this request has it for us. Uh, how to see it? Let's say here request, rec, right? And then okay, what should you do? And then if you refresh here, uh, refresh, and then console come where? Mm -hmm. Inspect, right? There too. Does it showing anything? No, because why? Well, why is not coming? I wrote some line. I wrote an additional line my in my code. It's not coming to there. Restart the server, right? Always. So 
end it, restart, and then uh, start, uh, refresh. Am I wrong? Uh, something that's not... Uh, oh, sorry, it's printing here. See? The, uh, this was a request, yes? It was a request. It is showing here. Because uh, if you do console here, so it shows in this. It's a huge. Look at the, you know, yeah, this yeah, uh, one. Oh man, it's a huge one, right? Okay. So. So even we don't, even with, uh, we don't see the request here. Actually, when we are using the browser. For and and response also uh, object also like like this size. Yeah. It's, it's also huge. It's not that small. Uh, it also has a lot of and, information. And can we customize the request as well? I think request. Uh, uh, I don't know. I didn't use that much uh, okay. that way. Okay. You can probably not customize it. You can uh, read the information to manipulate the re re response. So you see, okay, request give you the browser information. How it's coming from? Is it is it Chrome? Is it IE? So you can say, okay, if it's if it's uh, IE, uh, uh, then don't do it. So you can filter out. Yeah. Okay. A lot of stuff you can do, right? Okay. So is it start making sense? Okay, and then uh, now I need to change it here, and then okay, and then uh, if I listen to it, it just say uh, hello, right? And then what was our uh, idea? Like I should be able to get, uh, should we call it uh, students, people, yeah, users, students? students. User, user. No, user is always common. You can find it in internet and everywhere, right? <laughs> Let's be unique, right? It's our own things. So it should be. There's also a common uh, uh, mindset. Uh, you define this is a, like a plural uh, thing. So students. If it's not a specific uh, with the parameter, you define it as plural. So students, okay. So and then what do we need to send a list of students, right? Okay. So how can we send the list of students here? So const let's create it, right? We don't have it. Let's create it manually. Two way, many ways you can get the students. Like you, ideally you should be able to read it from some database. And we haven't uh, learned the database yet. It's the next module, so you'll be learning. So by uh, till now we can hack. We can just uh, you know. Uh, pretend that we are reading from database yeah. and then sh and then sh uh, uh, sh displaying it right so you can say you uh, students students equal uh, what is it it should be a json object right yeah. and then uh, json syntax syntax is that and then uh, uh, we call it like a array of objects right isn't it yeah. array of objects because it's students, not one, right? How do you do it? Okay. Let's move it there. And then uh, I can uh, say the name. Uh, name is the, uh, let's say, uh, what? Butter. Butter. <laughs> butter, butter. Uh, let's say... Uh, you are always popular for and, name. And sorry, in this case we have to use double quotation, yes? Uh, it's up to you. It's, a, it's, a, it's not fixed. You can use double and single both. Okay. I always prefer single quote, okay. right? And then the class uh, okay. is like a... O one zero seven. Okay. So this is one object, right? Yeah. And then uh, let's create, uh, uh, you know, two more, or a couple of more. Right? And then uh, uh, mid, and then... Uh, Sorry, in the first one you need the... Uh, yes, yeah. Oh yeah, thank you. And then, uh, yeah, thanks for help, uh, always do that. Uh, and the next one. And... Uh, uh, okay, let's keep it. Uh, uh, let's say okay. Uh, okay, let's keep it like that. Okay. So we have this, right? Yeah. And then what do you need to do? Just send it. Yeah. 
That's it, right? Yes. This is the response. This is the response. Okay. And then see, uh, this is not good format. This is not actually coming where it should be, right? Always fix them. Okay. Sorry. The code formatting is important. See, my bracket is coming very left. Okay. So, no, it's not a problem. It's uh, code will execute as it is, but yeah. it's not readable. Yeah. Um, whenever I see some uh, code, uh, if, you want to su if you're submitting for as a homework or, or do anything, or anyone doing pair programming or to you, together. You can have an extension for that to make it. Yeah, to nicer. Yeah. So, yeah. see, Perfect. I have this is a nice uh, thing for us, right? Yeah. Great. Do that. Always do that. Huh? Okay, I have installed some plugin who can do things. Uh, so beautify, it is beautifying uh, stuff. Oh. You know, I like the beauty, beautiful thing all the time. To, to, yeah. to beautify the, the JSON file? Yes, you do it and then do the magic for you. Oh, I don't know, it's amazing. Just do it manually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so and then we we should be let's use it postman, right? Yeah. Uh, what should what did you call it? Students. Can could not get any response. Why is that? You didn't uh, save it and run it. Uh, Very good. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you save it or not, but you didn't run it. I didn't run it. Let's run it, right? Yeah. You install Nordman. Okay. Nordman. Holy horses. <laughs> so it's coming, right? Yes. Let's try. Yeah. Very great. Yes. So uh, what's your name? Uh, Sam. Sam. Yeah. So he just told my, you know, thoughts. So let's see. This is a problem. All the time we uh, we need to, uh, you know, uh, we modify something. We need to restart. Yeah. And then, uh, what did you do last uh, before to avoid this problem? You, uh, in the last few classes, you didn't stop, start again, or like I'm doing it, like, like all the time I'm doing this cancel and then uh, running the application. You didn't do do that. To do that, uh, Node start, right? What? NPM start, you, you NPM start. NPM start. Yeah. Yeah. But we are not there yet. There's some issue. We'll fix it in, uh, in, in a short future. But so NPM start, that one was doing it. So it was doing basically uh, using a plugin, third party, who is actually uh, constantly listening our project mm -hmm. and then see if the any, any file has changed, modified. Yeah. And then it's, it just restart the server. And make it available. So all the time we are canceling and running, canceling, running. It doing this task for us. That's it. Nothing, nothing else, right? Uh, so to do this thing, so what do what do you need? npm i node mon. I think this is the right spelling, maybe. Pokemon. Pokemon. Do that. I'm actually going step by step. So whenever the does need will be, yeah, you know creating or um, building this. That's why I'm not showing everything in the, in the, the, the first time. It's also an uh, idea that I could question that they uh, try to realize what is the solution, then come to the group the solution. If they just just showing it, showing it, then they don't they probably not catch it. Okay? Okay, so how do you, uh, let's see the changes, right? Also, the just to verify. So package to JSON, and then, yeah? Uh, the wow, it's great. Uh, then, uh, yeah. So, let's do it then. So, how do I uninstall this one? Okay. Let's uninstall it, and then I we, I follow the so way. From, from the, from the so, not one. Yeah, how to uh, make it as a dev dependent? Uh, Dash dash. D, D, uh, save. Now save. Save. Yeah, Dave. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's try. Let's uh, see what is uh, do, do for us. It's doing. It was the. It was the. Um, I mean the core. I don't know how you call it. And then the um, D capitalized. Huh? No. Capitalized. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. If you want to do it a shorter, short version, like only D dash D. Now we wrote uh, dash dash save dash D. So that is this alias. So basically, this is the command 
and the alias also you can do it ca dash capital D like we did I for installation so there's many way you can uh, do that right okay see this is coming now here instead of instead of instead of it was here dependency now it's going yeah, to a yeah, different yeah. folder so the thing is that let's also uh, uh, and and check now uh, I told you that it is this process is optional always right so how can I do it in other ways like install the node band in different way so basically let's copy this one from somewhere you can get this so this package and dependency has only one unique unique format one is the uh, first key and value JSON from object uh, first is the one that you are the uh, the package and the version right so you, we uh, let's we un uninstall again so it's removed the depth dependence right uh, this is gone and then you can also verify the node mode is not there right so what I can do I just copy paste this line and then I put it here right save it and then here you can do n pm i mm -hmm. i means install install means what install it will install things from this package uh, json file and the dependency and the dev dependency it will install everything for you if something is already installed it will not do it if something is missing it will do the missing thing okay uh -huh. so you can copy paste uh, the package and things just put there you don't have to do it all the time command from i npm install this this, this blah blah it's, it doesn't work that way okay it's uh, now it's uh, doing the not mon uh, installation for me yeah was it you knew it before this way no okay so now it's ready right so uh, what the problem we try to overcome that every time i change i need to restart right yeah. let's use the node mon and node mon is already installed node mon what start just as it is, instead of a, a node, J, a node is node mon. Mm -hmm. See, it is watching. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, um, every time when you do something, yeah. you will, uh, so it is now less listening to this uh, port three thousand. Yes, was it three thousand? Yeah. Why is no, it three thousand? Nine thousand. You make it. Uh, it doesn't. Matter. Oh man, I, I wrote it here 3000, right? It's let's see, it's working for us. See, or is it just save? See, it's started changing, right? So, probably uh, we can see, and then uh, so it's everything you're here, but it's not convincing that it's really working. How can you prove it? Let's make one more uh, entity. What it calls? If you e use, no, no, no. This response object, we are making one more uh, information as an entity. You will learn this in the Java uh, database module, okay? So let's change it. So uh, let we call, uh, we use one more student, uh, add one more student, right? Let's add in different class, uh, maybe class fi uh, 5. Do you know any name from 5? Majd. Huh? Majd. What? M A G. Do you know this is uh, his? Yeah, he graduate. Uh, Okay, uh, what? M. M. A. A. J. J. Majid. Yeah. Majid, yeah. Okay. Okay, Majid, okay? Let's see if it's working. And also see there's a change in the, uh, in the uh, common prompt. Terminal. This is something is also give me a new line. And then if I go to Postman and then uh, do it again, see Majid is here now. So it, it is proving that we don't have to do it all the time, yeah. right? Yes. <coughs> okay. Even like, uh, like in the, in the uh, roadmap, we uh, npm uh, watch. Yeah. The One same thing. Uh, probably in the roadmap it was the divided, if not... There are many ways you, you can do it. Yeah. There are many ways you can do it. It's, it's okay. not monitoring. There was monitoring your life. But not every time with the thumb complication that was... Not yeah. giving the changes. Yeah. So since we are we are talking about this uh, 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 node bond, right? Let's fix something also that you are missing. <coughs> npm start, which is like a bit familiar, right? You don't see it node bond all the time, right? How to fix it to npm 
npm start. Do you any have any idea what is npm start and <coughs> theory or background about it? I had the problem, but I couldn't find the solution. Is there something struggling there? Not not more. It's not. Uh, doesn't read it. Doesn't read it? Yeah. Then probably um, um, maybe I also install it globally. Can you try see the documentation what it is saying? Probably you need to install it globally to use it from command prompt. Um, Uninstall it and then reinstall it globally. Yeah, do it globally. The G should be before. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Okay. Because it's in, uh, it's uh, instant globally. Not one. Or before I use G for not one. Yeah, not not using the yeah. So it's it's uh, optional, oh, I think. Well, it should give it as well as the dependency. So for example, your code can no, create the, the dev dependency. Yeah. 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 We always you remove the dev dependency whenever you are uploading yeah. application yeah. to production. Yeah. Always yeah. Yeah. removed. Yeah. Is it working now? Yeah. Great. Okay. So if it's there, then uh, bring your attention here. So what next we should do? Oh, okay. I, I was talking about node and game start. It's a common uh, way of uh, actually um, doing this task. Do you have any idea what is npm start and how can we create this? Any idea? Anyone except you? We can change uh, the the on the on the normal. Uh, uh, okay. So npm start is a command, right? So and then it's a good thing that npm uh, also uses everything uh, from package JSON, right? Yeah. So if you come here when you do did the npm init, it create this file, and do you see this small segment here called script? Have you ever thought of what is this script is for us? No. For the, uh, for the um, that element in the... In the in yeah. The... Just see here. If I go uh, to my terminal, uh, clear, I say npm. What is the scripts? Is first one test, right? Let's see. Test. Right down, uh, around this. And then it's showing a message. Echo. Error, no test specified, blah blah blah. Is it exactly the same message is written here? I can prove it to you. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can add test okay. start here. Exactly. Very good. So now we can add a task called start here. Start. And then what start should do for us? No. Start is normally this no, uh, you know, uh, no uh, node app dot js. Let's see what is it doing for us, right? So npm start. But why you write it as a what? No, no. So it's doing this one, right? So but it is running, and uh, we can also uh, see our application is. Uh, Small now. It's running as well, right? But it's still, it has the same problem that if we change something, it will not uh, update. I can show you, for instance, uh, if I add one more student, right? Can you give me uh, a student from class four? 
Oh, uh, class 7, uh, 8 then, or 9, 6. Huh? From class 6? Yeah. Uh, Zoe. 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 Like this, right? <laughs> Zoe. No, uh, Z. 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 Okay. Y. Y. Okay, Zoe. Okay. Okay. So, uh, see, I saved this file and then I refresh it. And then I don't see Zoe is there, right? And it's still the same problem because we used, need to use node one, right? So we can also just replace node with a node one. Okay? That's it. So we go, wow. yeah. Whenever you change something here in the package JSON, it is mandatory to, ch to restart the npm start. It will not just reflect if you just change it to node one, right? So what do we need to do here? We need to cancel this one and then npm start for the first and last time, okay? That's it. And then now you start changing it. For instance, now you can see uh, um, uh, Zoe should be in this list, yes. And then now uh, let's create one more, uh, you know, student to verify it. And make you guys a bit challenging. Five. Any students from five? One more? We need it because I told you that we need an application that should have 10 to 12 years. Only right now saying yeah, I don't know. to. It, it, it doesn't give the feeling, right? It's working. It's something you valuable, right? We want to use something valuable. X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, right? No. That, that much makes more sense for me. Yeah. What? Yeah. X, Y, Z. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it can be easier for me. For me. Oh man, you are so, you know, talented. <laughs> no, no, but it's easier for me. Okay, let's check it if it's working, right? I always write like that. First person. So here it's coming, right? It's proven, proved that it's working. So I think. Should we take break or we continue? How do you say it? Because I don't want to go to the common break, then you guys spend more time than uh, uh, I expected. <laughs> to avoid this, after or before? What do you prefer? After. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it before. Should I should we take a break, break now? Uh, 10 20 minutes? I mean, I mean, I prefer. 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 At 2 o'clock, I prefer to do a picture. Then, I mean, everybody is responsive all the time, you know. Uh, they have to understand that we are. It didn't happen, I said last time as well. <laughs> okay, let's keep a promise, okay? Not spending too much time on the breaks, break, okay? Okay, <clears throat> guys, let's improve our uh, project. So, it's not actually really nice uh, to use this uh, space for this information. What can we fix now? Because we don't have the database yet. Create a file. File. file, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's create a file, right? What can we call it? Student Yeah. Yeah. And then let's move this file there. Okay. It should be inside of the array. You forgot to copy the yes. Uh, really? Yeah. That should be? No. I don't think. Double I think quotes. I need a quote again. Uh, and, and you have to, it has to be double quote? Hold? Yes. Yes, I told you, they, they have to be double quote. No? Really? I Let's check so. it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just go to the post and please. Double code, double code. Just please go to the oh, we can copy and paste from there, right? That's a nice idea. Yeah. Look, all of them have double code. You have to use double code. Okay, code. let's okay. let's create a copy and then use this. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. So it's there, right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so and, and here, mm -hmm. const uh, student, you have to. Assign it to the JSON file, yes, student JSON. No. So now I need 
I move this uh, information to a JSON file, right? Yeah. So how can I get uh, this information back? I mean in app.js. If I do a save and then uh, read it, it's empty because uh, this information moves, right? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Um, cons student, it should be equal to the this student JSON file. It doesn't work like that. Okay. Guys, wh how can no. we solve it? What? 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 <laughs> so I move this JSON object to a file, right? I save you it have here. To import it. And then I, now it's empty. Now I need to get the information back. How can I get it? How can I improve it? Import this. You have to import it. Mm. That's right. You have to, in the top, you have to import that file. It doesn't matter. The top. Yes. You can do it even inside. Counts a student equal, equal mm. to. I think you guys have uh, used this uh, FS file yeah. system, right? Yeah, the file system. Uh, why don't you. Uh, we do the read file. Yeah, why did you, didn't you mention that? On the top. Yeah. Know. So. We need to use the file system, yes. yeah. FS. Yes. Yeah. So const f. So fs is an <coughs> is a dip, uh, now we need to use const mm -hmm. fs equal require fs, right? Yeah. And then do I need to install anything? We have to call the method uh, read file. For FS is a dependency, right? FS, Do I need to, like, for Express, we install it. For no, FS, it's a core already installed. We have just to import it. Does it make sense? It has an uh, Express, yes. For it's Express? Part of Express? No, it's, it's part of core. So basically, uh, Node has this built in. You don't have to yeah. do it. It's always there for you. Okay? Yeah. That's why you don't need to, know, don't need to install. You can if you find document in uh, Node.js uh, document hmm? about FS. Again. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can see okay. that. Yes. So, <clears throat> so method for FS, how, uh, yes, so how can I read the file? Uh, read file. How can I use the FS documentation? Documentation um, FS something right? Yeah. You do FS dot because the method and it's giving read file read yeah. file right? Yeah. And then what should I give? Uh, you do the file about a set situated. Yeah. Is that right? right now I found out what what is this? You understood? Yes. Now I understood. Yes. Okay, <coughs> that was the intention yeah. to make you yeah. to make every piece and component, uh, uh, you know, stuff yeah. need to be understood. Okay, so let's try if it's working for us. Maybe we need to do something else. Uh, okay, yes. so uh, and do we need to restart? Re stop restart? Nothing, right? It's just uh, taken care by mode not mode, and nothing working. And then probably we can see some uh, can save it, error messages. Is uh, something warning calling a synchronous function without callback? So basically, SFS does not give us that way. Why is that? See, <clears throat> FS is an asynchronous process, right? Asynchronous means what? Synchronous and asynchronous, there are two terminology there, right? You can send synchronous so many requests. Synchronous is in a particular order. Synchronous, Parallel, yeah. yeah. So basically, uh, synchronous is like each and ev every uh, command wait for others, like in an army, like in order, right? One take uh, after, and then next one executes. But in a synchronous process, no one waits for anyone. Just you define, declare them, and then whosoever is uh, done first, they uh, arrive first. That's it. So this FS is an asynchronous uh, uh, process to read file. So it, sh it shouldn't work. So, but we didn't declare this uh, way. So for asynchronous, how do we receive this information? As a? It wait. Callback. Yeah. yeah. Right? It wait, it wait, then, then we call it. Whenever it's ready, if it's fine, then it, it, it will give, me, give us the, you know, uh, otherwise it will give us error message at least.
So this is an OT event, you can say it, right? This is an event as well. Record FS. Well, could I see the, the, okay, that's not fine. Yeah, what is it? The error that I gave you. You gave me error? Yeah. Don't give me. I didn't understand my question. Okay. So, where is this one? Uh, here, right? Let's do it in a, in a different fashion. Uh, uh, copy. Write it down here, fs. So I said it's an asynchronous process. We need a callback, right? Yes. And then how to do the callback? The function. function. And then function should have what? Response request. Uh, response request. Request response or what? Uh, yes, we can use response. And request. I think it's it like a rest and yeah. error, right? It's not response and request. It's like a response and error. So it can be a happy scenario or a something error happened, right? Okay. Let's console dot log see what is what is the responses. Then here you can do the try catch, uh, you know, or you can write all this kind of thing. Let's buy, but see it. What is doing it for us? Well, if you um, deprecated call asynchronous function callback is deprecated. Okay. I think uh, that read file should be done uh, synchronously. You know, uh, instead of uh, waiting once uh, you you call it, they give you the. The, the file directly, they read you the file directly. You know what I'm saying? No. Instead of doing read file, the read file is synchronous. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. I think if we use read file, it won't give an error. It will give an? I think if we use the read, the read file sync method, it won't give an error. It's a read file which we use read file sync. It's giving me something. Sorry? Yeah, it's worked. It's worked? Yeah. What did you write? Uh, I get a file downloaded containing the JSON file. Mm -hmm. What did you write? I used uh, read file mm -hmm. uh, sync instead of read file. Oh, that's sync. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's another method. Yeah, I think we can use that one instead of this uh, sync. Is... Yeah, it is a different method to handle this, uh, you know, internally. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's use this one. I think this. Uh, uh, there is two, two, uh, two chemicals. Yes. And also, it's also in the documentation of sync as uh, a method, right? Here. See this sync? Yeah. Okay. So now our uh, information is back, right? Okay, so... Well, and didn't I think the, the read file and the, the callback uh, uh, they, they used to, to set the, the, the time, you know, on getting the file read, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the set time out. Hmm. You know, oh, you can do that, yeah. Because time currently, it, it gives you directly the file when you ask it. Hmm. It didn't wait until, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can do that as well. Yeah. Okay. Can yeah. you show the students JSON? Yeah. 
No, no, nothing. In the book, uh, okay. But the Just copy paste from the uh, postman, whatever you see there. Then it's give you the better format. But you don't have to like uh, put other one student equal. No, no. Uh, in, in JSON file, you don't declare variable or JavaScript code. It's just an uh, object. Yeah. yeah. Is it working now? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we, we decided to have students. Now we're getting right. And then what is missing to build our application? ID. Yes. So a specific, right? Yeah. But before we go to specific, we also need some more information, right? Yeah. The specific will show only that one, right? Yeah. So uh, why not we use some uh, one more field in the JSON file? Can you help me with that? I think I think what I what I think, but we don't have a database. But I think it's up to to the to the to the to the developer that write the, the code to make it other app that post post and you put inside whatever you want when you need it because what it doesn't matter if I mean it's not the detail you know what I'm saying as soon as you don't ask for the ID mm. it's a general request for all the students you, know, yeah. you want to see all the students yeah. so we don't we don't have to keep it you know right everything detailed and everything you know yeah oh, why not give it an ID uh, oh yeah details. make an internal object inside Take so long doing this, I think. Um, you think so long? Because if, if we had, if we had, um, if we had a, a database, yeah, you just can you post up, uh, up uh, that post, yeah, and write the details on on directly, so we get saved directly on, on each one that we want to take from. Mm. <laughs> I'm listening to you. I just keep continuing. You are you are mentioning very good helpful things. No, this is a uh, you know small thing. So let's just add it there. I'm adding more information. Okay, so we have this object now. See if it's giving. Yeah. So now, what we need to build? Uh, details, right? We copy paste and then uh, here, right? What do we need? ID. ID. Oh, how do you find them? Actually, good question. Is it there by name? Uh, we we used to do yeah, we, it's better by name. Let's ID, do it by ID, name. ID because we don't know. Yeah, we don't know it, right? Let's do it by name. I think the name is this, right? Yeah. Then I think uh, let's stick to the you know name with one word. Like query, we, we one word we, because if you have uh, many words, then there's space. There are a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's stick to ground rule with the one word. Uh, I receive the uh, five buffer data for from the first uh, student. When I use FS, do you write a student? Uh, I receive buffer data. Why? See here, I wrote this one. Get student FS verified. I think it is correct. Uh, the 
where did you put dot slash? Can you remove this part? Ah, just use normally. Yeah. Okay, so we are using, uh, you know, this one, name. Let's say our name for the first time, uh, uh, maybe this person, right? Yeah. Copy. Always use the, you know, mock. You know what is mock? Mock is like, you know, uh, you, you instead of putting logic, how to filter, find, and re all this thing, just, you know, uh, show this thing first. Let's say, st in a, a student now. Const, static thing, right? Student. So what should be students is this object, right? So now if I able to pass this thing in this in here by setting any name, then it's working, right? Let's say now uh, students is this. Now if I pass student, right? Student. Uh, oh, no, it's you have no. to use the name students. as well. Students, and the name is like uh, anything. X Y Z. It's showing that. Right? Why? Yeah. Why would the name can be ended? That's why you didn't listen to me. I said, I just said that. I said instead of uh, doing so much logic, how to get the name, uh, compare, filter, all this kind of thing, oh. you hack it, you mock. Mm -hmm. So basically, you get the confidence that your service is working with this parameter. So you are passing x y blah blah thing, but you are getting static response yeah. meaning that your endpoint is working okay probably it's not uh, working in a proper sense like yeah. it's not filtering right mm -hmm. so if i give you this is it's giving me all the time this is because i already defined just send me exactly this is this oh, okay one. yes yes you're right you're right you're right right yeah. so now now i need to ch now i get the confidence it's working now I it's not working in a way that I I expected. X Y Z it's giving the same thing. Now we, we fix it, right? So we should use the for loop, go through all of the JSON files. Uh, files. Yeah, the, I think now you're the expert. You already did this one uh, contact list. Mm -hmm. How did you did it? Contact list. I cannot remember. So instead of uh, inventing this uh, thing, probably I can copy paste from you. Uh, you already have this list of information, mm -hmm. and then you filter, search by name, search by ID. Yeah. Right? Yes, I, I Search by name, you already did it, right? Anyone has the code so you want to share and then I can copy paste here? No, here he, want, he wants to go through all of the JSON files and find, it, uh, find uh, one, uh, one, one object by the name. Oh, the search, the search bar? Yes. Search yeah, bar. Yes. We, we had it the last. Uh, I don't think we need that first JSON file. It handled by Express, Express. But if you need a body text, then you need that. I'm quite confused about the, this the route path. Mm -hmm. So the if you want to search for something right after the mm -hmm. slash, it's always a colon, and then what you're searching looking for. It's a, it's a key, or you can say, say it variable. So we can also see it like like this way. Uh, this what it's giving me, giving us, right? We can just uh, replace this one. Let's see. Oh, it's not it's not that way. Uh, how to get the um, value of the uh, uh, params? Of the parameter. Like what I'm sending in this name. How to uh, get it? Uh, request. Uh, like this? Param. Rick? Rick, yeah. Dot. Param. Params? Yeah. Then? Um, then uh, in the, the name, uh, slash name, I mean the uh, quote. One second, guys, one second.
show detail, this is the show detail down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, right? So, ID and then uh, it's getting the, you know, this one. Yeah. So, um, oh. Oh, so basically, cut and then instead of uh, sending the object, I want to send this one, right? And see what is showing. It's showing DDDFS. It can show like this. It can show like that. Right? So now I have this, let's say, this information. Uh, and uh, now I need to search like uh, omit. So I should be able to find omit from uh, the all big list and find him. And then instead of this person, I should be updating that the real person, right? So how to do it? So there, there, here we need some uh, programming logic, like we need to uh, do for each or maybe filter or some other methods to achieve it, right? Or do some search methodology and then you can now uh, validate the string. Is it a number? Is it a string? All this error handling we did in the past, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of doing it now, so we can use the logic already of developed. So who has managed uh, to do it last? Home exercise. Anyone have the script ready for search? I have it. Is it? Yeah, on the, on the, on the okay, uh, this one, right? Yeah. Search by key and then value. We have, obviously, we have to change, you know, the uh, from this list. We have to change the with the, our our new constant that we have created, our new object. This list is related to the, the the array of object that we have created in this contact list. Oh, really? We have to change the name on the new. So if variable. I if I copy this here, right? So yeah, but touch by is the um, function. Yeah. Okay. So if I do this here search by and then I need to pass key I don't have key I have only value can I pass that yeah, you do have a key where is the key yeah oh this is the key I will send let's say uh, uh, omit only it says share not the key you, you, you can write exactly this do you understand what it yeah, but, but return, return, uh, did leave. Oh, the key, okay. The key is the name of this, yeah. I got you. What, what are you saying now? Name. Uh, name, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So now, uh, let's see what is uh, giving us, right? How to see it? Console.log. Or let's say the, you know. But we have to change the search by uh, function. Uh, it should return us the our uh, array of objects. Sorry? The, the search by function should uh, should uh, change uh, it. Uh, it's not uh, exist. Uh, you have to call it student. The, the yeah, and then how do you get this students? We need to get it right. Also, the list is not available. Yeah, this list is not available because it was on the last project. Yeah, uh, so let's get the list. Let's read the list actually. But we can write just uh, student, isn't it? Oh, then students is not de uh, defined yet. Students is always defined in this method. Get students. Oh yeah, it's before. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not globally. Okay. Do you but know this? You have to write the file system. Yeah. Method. Okay. okay. Or you can define it globally. If it's globally, then it's available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's not in globally. We yeah. should not write everything globally. Yeah, then yeah, it's yeah. bad bad yeah. practice. Okay. What is what is happening? Here you do this try catch, so you know there's no error messages, right? And it's, uh, we don't know what is happening now. What request animation? Uh, it send, it send you it download your omit. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I think, I Why it's downloaded? Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this is yeah, the problem. Yeah, the problem is on on the on the read file. 
Yeah, maybe this is the problem. The, the read file. Um, You have to write it on the URL. Oh, okay. Again. Download you the JDOM. Oh, try to open it. Open it. Open it. See, at least if it gives you commit as an object. Yeah. It doesn't give you anything. And the file name is not defined. It gives you a, a, an empty file. Mm -hmm. So, um, the. Return this thing as request. And then okay, let's f just to you know uh, see, uh, find the problem. How to find the problem? There's a way. Catch. Let's copy again. You know, copy this one, and then replace. Probably this is the problem here in the file system, right? So replace it and see if it's working. Yeah. So the problem with the file is read file. That way, it doesn't. It's not working. Okay. Now it's giving a list array of objects. We only need one, right? And then there's uh, some logic in it too. Understand what the problem is. Go yeah. to the uh, response on the get that you have uh, asking for. Um, it sent s. It, it should. Oh, you. Oh, you lose. No, it should be uh, student. Oh, it does matter. I just define it here. Yes. It's not that issue. It's something is with the file reading. Uh, because you draw this function, how far is that? Mm, no. No. Excuse me. We want to read from that file. Okay. So we want to read something from that file. Yes. So. Uh, we shouldn't use the method of fs because fs have, for example, should open the file first and after that search in the file and after that find uh, uh, the object and return the object. It, should, uh, it doesn't have any uh, methods for fs. With uh, this method, we create ourselves here, isn't it? Where this this search search file Yeah, we created it. We created this one. But I want to know is there any methods that FS themselves find something? Oh, no, no, no. Maybe, maybe there are, I don't know. But uh, this is not the way actually we should be doing it here. Yeah? Probably there are something that FS can also find uh, from the file. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> but here we should not be uh, returning as a object. It should be one, right? Return you only the key. If uh, change, it, 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 if the object has the own property key, so if the the, the, the ID that you have written is in the, the object, then it uh, gives you only only the object itself. Yeah. But um, could could you go back to the read file again? Uh, go uh, control Z. Go back to the read file and try to add the um, the directory name. So um, now, yeah, do do um, before before the quote before mm -hmm. the quote yeah you you no before the quote you do okay dear yeah, okay uh, uh, underscore the dear name plus then you do this yeah. Mm -hmm. That that uh, right. yeah. no, that's, that's okay. Let's uh, uh, let's uh, what to say.
Okay, so then we take the take the break now. It's two now already. Yeah. Okay. Just eat something.